In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to lists in Lix. This can be quick because Lix makes lists very easy. We'll discuss lists of these types. So let's immediately go to a live demonstration. So here's my Lix editor, and I have a new file called up. All you have to do to get a new list is I go here to this button and I select itemize and itemize gets me a bulleted list. At the end of a particular list item you can get a new list item by using the carriage return and it brings up a new bullet. To terminate the list I can hit carriage return again I get a new bullet but if I hit carriage return then Lix recognizes that I want to terminate the list. So then that might beg the question well how do you get text that's subordinate to a bullet item because if I hit carriage return I get a new bullet and that's not what I want so fortunately I can just backspace and now if I hit command return I get a new line here I got text that's subordinate to the second bullet and I just had to use shift return or shift enter depending on whether you're using Mac or PC I can get the preview of this file there's the preview it's just as easy to make an equation that's subordinate to this bullet point I can type command shift M and I get math mode. Another type of list that we can put in is a numbered list and this is helpful if you're say writing a test or something and you're, you have problems that, that are numbered so I went to enumerate and then I got my numbered list. The third type of list is the description. If I start typing I get bold text, but as soon as I introduce a space, it takes me out of the bold text and I get standard text. And if I hit enter, I get a second line, but notice if I hit space, the second word is no longer bold. So there's one limitation here. It has to be a single word that's bold faced as the keyword and then the description text that follows is standard text. So again a third carriage return would get me a third line but I hit carriage return again and now I have standard paragraph text. Let's preview this and you can see how all that worked out. Okay so you, you can see my bulleted list, my numbered list, and my description list. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful please like the video, subscribe to my channel, or share the video and my channel.